Hi everyone. Welcome back to part two of our little five-day series this week where we're looking at the abundant life that we already have in us. We have everything already to experience the abundant life Jesus came to give us. Yesterday I read the first part of 2 Peter 1, uh, 1 through 10 from the Mirror Translation. It's, if you missed that, go back and listen to it or just read it in your own copy of the Mirror Bible. It's, it's really wonderful. Now, today I'm going to pick up on the rest of that passage. He says, giving all diligence, giving extreme devotion. And he tells us about the translation there. He says, the Greek word spude means to interest oneself immediately and most earnestly. The word perispero means to introduce simultaneously. Now, Francois Dutoit, the translator of the Mirror Bible, translated this the way he did. He says, to acquaint ourselves with every detail of the whole. He says, this comes from para, a preposition indicating close proximity, a thing proceeding from a sphere of influence with a suggestion of union, a place of residence, residence to have sprung from its author and giver, originating from, denoting the point from which an action originates, intimate connection to reach inward. And then he gives this illustration. He says, before a performance, the first violinist will give the tuning note to the orchestra. Then every instrument can be finely tuned to that note in the same way the faith of God gives us God's exact pitch. The original Greek indicates that there's a level of understanding that can only be accessed by faith. And he says, look at Hebrews 11.3. By faith we understand that the ages were framed by the capital W, Word of God, Jesus. Thus, in faith, discover your co-seatedness in Christ. In this place of elevation, discover a new kind of knowledge. Here, you will realize your inner strength and how fully competent you are to prevail in patient perseverance in the midst of any contradiction to your faith. It's for men within this place of enlightened perspective that meaningful devotion and worship ignite. In worship, he says, you will find a genuine fondness for others. At the heart of everything that faith unfolds is the agape love of God. Worship and devotion includes esteeming people and honoring friendship. The same voice that magnifies God cannot insult a person made in God's image. True worship is to touch someone's life with the same devotion and care you would touch Jesus himself, even if the other person seems a most unlikely candidate. He goes on to say, while you diligently rehearse the exact qualities of every divine attribute within you, the volume will rise with ever-increasing gusto, guarding you from being ineffective and barren in your knowledge of the Christ life displayed with such authority and eloquence in Jesus. And he finishes this passage with this. If anyone feels these things are absent in his or her life, they're not. Spiritual blindness and short-sightedness only veil them from you. This happens when one loses sight of one's innocent. The moment one forgets the tremendous consequence of the fact that we were cleansed from our past sins, one seems to become preoccupied again with the immediate sense-ruled horizon, which is what short-sightedness is all about. This makes one blind to his blessings. Spiritual realities suddenly seem vague and distant. So instead, become acquainted with your innocence. Therefore, he closes, I would encourage you, my fellow family, to make every immediate effort to become cemented in the knowledge of our original identity, revealed and confirmed in the logic of God. Fully engage these realities in your lifestyle, and so you will never fail. The mirror is a great paraphrase of the original words, in this case, in, uh, of what St. Peter wrote, really helps us understand the depth and the, uh, the nuances and what the original Greek really meant. So tomorrow, we'll briefly look at one of the uh, regular older translations of this passage, so you'll get a little comparison, and then we'll see what it means to discover that we already have within us everything possible that we could need for full life abundance and godliness. Hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks, everybody.